Hello everyone. You probably remember this saddle. It's one I repaired only one half of and left the other half raw. Just so you could see the before and after. Well today I'm going to start repairing it uh, all the way and do a saddle, full saddle restoration on it. Um, I'm working with an equestrian team and our saddle, or our saddlery colors are black and uh, the rest of our tack is going to be green. And I uh, thought, well, why not a perfect time to demonstrate how you can clean up your saddles and do uh, saddle repair restoration work. So, um, one of the ways that you can start cleaning your saddle is using a leather new glycerin soap. It really works nicely to help pull some of the dirt from the fibers of the leather. Um, another thing you can use is warm water, which is great because it does loosen the leather fibers so it, it makes the dirt more likely to come up out of the leather. Right here I have a dog running around here so you probably see her. Got neighbors working on stuff around me too and so I'm going to get a full demo from start to finish and I'll be pulling the saddle apart getting it almost down to the saddle tree itself so you can see everything that I do. See there's the dog! <laughs> so you can see what I do in repairing saddles. I'm gonna get started. Oh, and by the way, if you're working on a light oil leather, please do not apply um, the leather new glycerin soap or water directly onto the leather as it will stain it. If you have a very dark oil saddle, or like the saddle will be dyed black so it won't matter, um, you'll get saddle stains and they will be very visible. You won't be able to get those out. So. That being said, you can apply a warm water to a rag and get it damp and use the leather new in that and help kind of pull it out. I'm going to go ahead and use a scrub brush because I'm going to be repairing this thing anyway and refinishing it. So it doesn't matter if it gets a few scratches in it. It's all going to be buffed out and rubbed out anyway. Alright, so that said, hopefully I can get some uh, dirt some mud sliding off this thing so you can uh, see how dirty these things really do get. Oh, you can still see that even though um, the saddle's dirty it still has a shine to it. So um, keep your tack clean and it will help last. Alrighty. I got this foamed up. You can see how the soap's changing color here. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> All that stuff we want to get out of the leather. There you can see it's starting to drip off. <laughs> nasty, nasty. Now you can get a similar effect if you use a rag and just lightly do that with a porous rag that's kind of soft and gentle. That way if you have a light oil saddle you will not scratch it or stain it. But this is how I'm getting started. So I'll be pulling everything up, pulling underneath the fenders, everywhere else. And I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done scrubbing away.